Neko. Oh, jeez. There's another one around here, too. Where? Kuma. <laughs> it's a Puma. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you don't know why that one's funny, well, Kuma is Japanese for bear and... Uh, Mr. Grizz in the Japanese version is called Kumasan. Hence the um, hence the salmon egg there in the corner. <laughs> I am. And uh, some of you might notice a name in the chat room called um, Electrical Skateboard. No one seems to know really what that is. It, it appears in numerous people's channels while they're streaming. And I have absolutely no idea how it gets there. No one seems to know how it gets there. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because I am DJ Particle and this is Particle Play Live! We're back at Splatoon 2. Time to do more leveling of the Splatfest T. And there's Splat TV. Just Monica. Oh God, where did you see Just Monica? Where did where did you see Just Monica? <laughs> oh. Oh, the West needs to really up their game when it comes to art. Get killed! <laughs> Look at that. All this art, and we are getting killed in the art department. Because there's art. There's art that we don't seem to be skilled enough to match. <laughs> oh, you saw her in the Splatoon 2 game. Oh, yeah. Um, on my last on my last stream, I played with uh, Monica.chr. Well, she wouldn't be here in the lobby now because I uh, played a little bit while I was at the Mall of America at Buffalo Wow Wings. And it B Dubs it had great bacon boss burger. It was great. It was great. It was bacon. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Let's get into the lobby. Let's go into the lobby. Let's go into the lobby and have ourselves a splat. <laughs> Did I get a photo of the Nike shoes? I did more than that. I'm wearing the I'm wearing the uh, Tentatech clones of the Nike shoes. If you haven't noticed yet. Oh, 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 that's right, that's right, oh, shit, that's right. I was going to go into the Nike store and grab the and grab the two pairs of shoes and act like I was pondering between them. That's right, I forgot I was going to do that. Damn. Well, I got, well, I've got another chance, um, this, I've got another chance next Friday. Not a big deal. <laughs> oh, Splat TV, you're in the lobby, good. <laughs> Uh, apparently, um, apparently I heard that the uh, Dragon Ball Z fighting game is planning... It, there are plans in the works to bring it to the Switch. And I... and actually, I think I will get that. Maybe I'll play it one. Maybe I'll play it when I'm not splooning. Then again, when am I? Then again, when am I not splooning? I seem to always be splooning, splooning with the split and the splat. Mm. 
the splitty splat. The splat leaves. I had him, but apparently not. Someone is sniping. All right, that was nice. Got both a snipey and his associate. What? Oh, splat TV with the splatling gun again. Suddenly, Tenta Missiles. That was not me, by the way. I don't have Tenta Missiles. At least not yet. I mean, I could get them if I wanted to, but... But Carbon Roller treats me well in Turf War. Usually. Again, usually. Yeah, 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 you and your freaking brella. Freaking brella. Your freaking umbrella, brella, brella. <laughs> oh. Sorry if I'm a little slow right now. I did not have much sleep last night. Oh. oh. Oh, my Japanese squid's getting close to that level 50. The original level cap. Something else I wanted to talk about today that I just plum forgot about, actually. Um, you know, there was one thing I was pondering about earlier today. You know, if Nintendo was smart and did not want to alienate people. The smart thing for them to do would be, you know, their $20 a year online, online um, paid service. What they should do is make it so that, um, is make it so that um, not paying for it doesn't actually lock you out of simply playing online. Just simply because by that point, it will have been free for so long that 
that now, it, that if, you know, nowadays it would just alienate people if they made it paid. That's, that's my hot take at this point. I really think it would just alienate people now if they made it, if they decided to make it paid now. Be, just because it's been free for so long. I mean, you're talking about a service that by the time they enact it, will have been free for about half, for a year and a half. For a service that they originally only intended to be free for half a year. I mean, I think at that point, if something's been free for a year and a half, you are just really going to alienate people. By putting a by putting a price on it afterwards. I mean, the the time to do that would have been during the initially promised time of Happy Year. That would have been the time to do it. The initially promised time of Happy Year. What they should do instead is for the paid service, instead of just, instead of attaching just simply playing online to it, you know, you put virtual console on it. Um, you, uh, another thing you could do, the ability to store your game saves in the cloud in case your switch goes through a catastrophic failure. And you can't, and you can't even transfer it to another machine. You know, stuff like, you know, stuff like that. But after a year and a half of playing online, playing online is free, putting a price on it, that, that, that's too late. Like I said, the time to do that would have been last fall, not this coming fall. Yes, I know Splat TV. And I, for one, do not want to start three squids back at level one. But, but yeah, put, I mean, put that as, as a feature of the paid service. Game save, game save insurance. Call, call it like, call it like save insurance or something like that. Oh, jeez! We killed each other! We ran into each other and sent us both tumbling into the water. Oh, man! How the hell that happened? That ain't right.
Oh god, yeah, he got he double teamed from a distance. Look at that stingray. Follow me, Splat! You found me. I don't know how, but you found me. Run for it, Marty! Oh! I thought I had that sniper dead to rights! Shit! How I tried to get out of the home base. It splattered. Most people, but most people want those cloud saves. Those cloud saves will be game savers. Immense game savers. Literally and figuratively. They'll save your game and they'll save your game. Oh, and, al and also, this band, the bottom feeders. You see, where I am, it is still technically St. Paddy's Day. And, uh, or, or, as Day or as Dana, my partner, said, drink three beers and throw up day. Green beer, green beer, bro. <laughs> Drink three green beers and throw up day. There we go. Split the difference on that one. <laughs> but, um, this is a good time to uh, remind you that, um, This is a good time to remind you that, as you can hear, Splatoon 2, in-game, has a Celtic rock band. Bottom feeders. Oh, if only I had gotten him a split splat second sooner. Okay, time to 
All right, it's time to do the thing. Time to make you worry about your home base. Time to make you worry about your home base, your home base. And they're probably doing the same thing to us because they don't seem to care that I'm up here inking the shit out of their home base. And they're not quite doing the same to ours, but they're in the lead, so let's fix that. Huh. Oh, this one's gonna be close. Not as close as I thought. All right, what am I getting on my splatty shirt? Cold blood. All right. He's a cold on snake, look into his eyes, uh oh, he's been telling lies. Ah. Uh. Level 71, only 28 more levels till prestige. I ain't even halfway there yet. And technically when I reach 50, I still ain't I still ain't even halfway there. I think I think um XP wise, I think I've gotta get up somewhere. I'd say I probably have to get I probably have to get up somewhere around 70 before I'm actually halfway there. childhood retroactively. People have been playing Fortnite recently. So what exactly is Fortnite anyway? I mean, I know it's a game, but I mean, is it... I've heard it's kind of like PUBG. You're trash at it. Yeah, I tend to be trash at those kind of games too. Hell, I'm only average at Splatoon. I mean, what what would be your dream game to actually come to the Switch that hasn't come to it yet or isn't planned to come to it yet? I mean, for me, for me, believe it or believe it or not, for me, I think it would be. Um, 
I were to pick one, I would probably say Overwatch. God, stop sniping already, jeez. Enough with the snipe and the snipper snips and the snipies. God, there's another one. Stop sniping! Stop sniping! Stop with, with the sniping! Damn it! <laughs> How many snipers do they have on their team? Just two. Just the two, huh? Ah! Sniper! No sniping! A what? Corned beef. Oh, damn. That's right. It's St. Patty's Day. We should have had corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage. Ha, ha, in the pot. Ha, ha, in the pot. Mustard and rye bread. Mustard and rye bread. Mustard and rye bread. Don't forget the horseradish. Corned beef, corn corn beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage. Where is everyone on the opposing team? Oh! God, that wasn't a trade, really? That wasn't a trade back there, really? Come on. Doesn't matter, we won by Time to get out your bamboozler. You do that, Splat TV. Get out that Captain Cuttlefish special. <sighs> but yeah, as I was trying to say before, if I had dream game that I would love to see on the Switch right now, it would probably be Overwatch. And I know Overwatch is usually one of those bro box games, but on the other hand, it's Blizzard. Blizzard never does anything seriously. And I've watched playthroughs of it. It... It... It, it, it kind of... It kind of plays... It kind of plays like your your average um, first-person shooter, but the characters are just so over the top in it. I mean, it, I mean, the it, it ends up getting a feel of it ends up almost getting a feel of World of Warcraft, the first-person shooter. Which I would not be surprised if Blizzard ended up doing in the not too distant future. Track of her. Mm. 
Linzel there. I, I had lost track of her. Can't be doing that. Wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. Wow! Diddle kid, they're jumping around like a little jumping bean. That, that was some evasion. That was some good evasion maneuvering. You know, you know, you got your bamboozler. You know what? I figure, okay, you're on our team. You've got your snipey gun. We have a sniper. Cue the opposing team having two snipers. Oh, I can do that again. Haha, <laughs> got off anyway. A little late, but I got it off. There we go. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We got this. Big time. By over 25%, no less. And nice coverage with that bamboozler too, Splat TV. They haven't. Any, they didn't even kill you. I know. <clears throat> but that was some nice coverage with that bamboozler. Snipers don't you snipers don't usually get over a thousand. And you almost did it. You were seven short. Also, you may want to notice um, some changes on my uh, Twitch page. I've a I've uh, finally added some links on where you can find me, by the way. My Twitter, my Facebook, my Discord. My friends' codes for Switch and, th and 3DS, my Nintendo ID. And my YouTube, if you want to go back and watch my old, uh, my old Let's Play series from uh, almost three years ago. <laughs> God, was that already almost three years ago? Jeez, time flies. Back when the big video game I got into was uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, because everyone was getting into it. And I started my Let's Play series with Five Nights at Freddy's. I did, and my reasoning was just to get it out of the way. And I, and I did, and I, at the and the games that existed at the time, I did them all in a row: FNAF One, FNAF Two, FNAF Three, and FNAF Four. Although technically FNAF Four hadn't started yet when I started Parkle Play, it had been announced. But it hadn't been out yet. But by the time I, by the time I had finished um, FNAF two, uh, no, sorry, by the time I had finished FNAF three, it was out.
I'm gonna make you worry about your home base a little early. Because I can. Triple teamed! Frickin' triple teamed! What?! Oh, you traded with me, Splat! Right? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, another trade. I have said it numerous, numerous times before, I am the queen of the mutual splat. God, could you imagine if Turf War was five minutes long, like rank battles? <laughs> Oh, the weirdest, and I do mean the weirdest, ranked battle I've ever been in. It was, um, well, I should say the easiest. It was on Black Belly Skate Park. But it was on Black Belly Skate Park in the new game. And it was Rainmaker. My team, we got to the, we, uh, got to the tower, the central tower. We, um, uh, we freed the Rainmaker. And then, like, right after we freed the Rainmaker, right after we freed the Rainmaker, I, uh... I grabbed the Rainmaker, and I, I didn't... I didn't so... I didn't so much, um, drop off the tower as I flung myself off the tower. I flung myself off the tower hit that one, um, that one little wall. You know, you know that one little wall that as you're coming to the splat zone, it's just, it's right before the splat zone. It's a tiny little wall that you can actually jump on top of. So, so I flung myself off the tower, hit that little wall, which was also co covered in my color ink, by the way. Fired the Rainmaker once made a path to the podium and then ju and then just went for broke I tanked it the uh, total time of the entire match 28 seconds my guess is the opposing team did not realize that I, that I had, that, that I had um, taken the Rainmaker so, com so quickly and so completely. Sniper, no sniping. Ah! 
but that's but that's my guess is that they is that they didn't think uh, they didn't think I had that much control of the rainmaker. That's the only thing I can think of. Flashes for good measure. I don't know if we won that though. Oh! Pfft. Yeah. That would be boring five minutes long turf war, maybe so, but. But yeah, that Rainmaker match, 28 seconds. And I had one that was only slightly longer at the reef because I grabbed the Rainmaker. And it, and everyone I think was expecting me to to go straight toward the podium, but but then this doesn't work quite as and what I did doesn't work quite as much anymore because everyone knows about it now. But I made a beeline for that side hallway, went up that side hallway and onto the podium, and it's like the the rest of the other team didn't even think I was going to do that. But unfortunately, everyone knows that trick now. So, <laughs> but I will say, if you can, get, if you can get back, if you can get back there, then once you're in that hallway, any forward motion you make gives gives you points really, really quickly. Oh, Splinter Cell. Hmm. That would be interesting on the Switch, and, and it's an old enough game that would pro that would probably play fine on Switch on its uh, maximum setting, unless of course they remaster it. But like I've said before, my uh, the biggest reason why I like the Switch, the biggest reason why I like the, the well Nintendo products in general, is that they don't feel they have to be big powerhouses. I mean, I have seen so many stories, broken games on on the uh, on what I call the, uh, the bro box consoles. Like you, like you hear, like for example, Tony Hawk Skater, and uh, and your and your body contorting every which way, or uh, or or God, I, f I forgot. There's a there's a motor there's a motorcycle game where. Uh, There's a motorcycling game where some I, I forget what it's called, but at one but there's one point in the game where if you hit a certain point on the road, you fall you fall through the road. Oh! How 
How did I miss him? I didn't didn't miss him. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get out of here. It's dangerous for squid like me. Oh! Oh, sorry, Splat. I cornered you there. <laughs> I really cornered you there. Yeah, Splat, I think I think your team won that one. No, wait, wait, wait we won? I'm not Judd. I I I'll, 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 I'll leave that decision to Judd. <laughs> I'm not Judd. <laughs> I won't scream his name to the heavens because uh because I won, but maybe you might want to. <laughs> Judd, why? I hate you. <laughs> maybe you should scream it. Judd! <laughs> Judd! <laughs> oh, um... Uh, which cookies are you looking for, hon? She's looking for Girl Scout cookies. Which cookies are you looking for? Which ones? Um, my cat, my cabinet blue, my cabinet blue, uh, blue thing. Your cabinet blue thing. Hi, Belsie. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm streaming. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you could hear her. That's my friend Katie. She just showed up. I love it when you stream for me. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I guess you could. I guess you could say she's my BFF, Belfie friend forever. <laughs> Belfies, Belfies, Belfies. Oh my god, Carrie. <laughs> although, in, although in reality, none of us have really played Warcraft in quite some time. <laughs> and the thing, and I was going to do a club boom next week, but uh, Japan decided to have a splat fest. Lexi and Carrie are our characters, um, Palexia and Carowin. <laughs> On Wormrest Accord server. Oh, you think you can just sneak in here, can ya? You think you can just sneak in here and say Patty Day? Well, guess what? Apparently you can, because you just splatted me. <laughs> That's all right. My teammate got gotcha. This one, I don't know where that came from. Of course, it came from Splat TV. Cause Splat's got that Splatlin gun. Oh, 
How'd I survive that? That's right, girl. You cover them with your yellow hideousness. <laughs> no. No, actually, I am the yellow in this one. I think that's the third time Splat TV has actually splatted me now. <laughs> well, hello, EF Anthony. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Yeah, I think you really did win this one this time, Splat TV. <laughs> All right, I unlocked the second bit of my Splat Fest shirt. Finally. Now I gotta unlock the third one. And then, and then it'll be time to scrubby dab dab. Three in the tub. <laughs> I don't want to envision that. Actually, she right. said three torrens in a tub. Actually, no, I don't want to know. But maybe if they're female torn. After all, I am lesbian. That's why I said, maybe if they're female torn, it's okay. <laughs> torn females are the Amazons of Warcraft, as far as I'm concerned. Even more so than the orcs. Oh, really? I know. I never told you about that, did I, Carrie? When was this? This was... Years ago. <laughs> well, it was a couple years ago, yeah. Mm. Uh, but the problem, the problem is, is he was also cheap. So it ended up uh, giving me a rash. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I turned green from it, so I can't talk to him anymore. I mean, like, really? I mean, I can't get the good or Seriously. Yeah. I mean, with all the stuff that's available on the Azeroth, you mean, you couldn't, you couldn't just, you couldn't just go up to, say, like, Pandaria or, or Kaltiris and get, like, the good or I mean, really? I'm sorry. My own personal mind happens to have better shit in that, in it than that, so, um, he was seriously well, yeah, but you gotta, but but you gotta slide into another universe to get to that. And... I'm a mage. I have no problem doing that. Obviously. Oh yeah. <laughs> you forgot. That's so cute. <laughs> no. As, as, as is my undead sister Delexia, but actually her business. I just heard from her the other day, and she's doing really well. The black market organ trade is still very much alive and well. <laughs> so Azeroth doesn't have St. Paddy's Day. <laughs> Azeroth doesn't have the background to have St. Paddy's Day. <laughs> not that they don't have, not that they don't have a dedicated drinking holiday. There is Brewfest. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, my 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 warlock character, uh, Carowind. She's a she's a blood elf, and part of her background is uh, she, is during the first. During the first war, or at least after the conclusion of the first war, 
She kissed an orc and she liked it. Keep in mind, she keep in mind she was still a high elf at that time. No, no, she doesn't talk about it. That's the thing. That doesn't mean people don't know about it. But she doesn't talk about it. She hates it when people talk about it because that's all they freaking remember. Nothing. trade. But yeah. But yeah, basically uh, she was she was riding she was riding back home she was she was she was basically riding back home to Silver Moon after a uh, her drunken party at Booty Bay. And, uh, keep in mind, Silver Moon's all the way on the other end of, on the other, all the way on the northern end of the continent. Booty Bay's on the southern end. Um, distances on Azeroth, you know. Anyway. But, um, but she was drunk. And, uh, she got proposition, and she got, and since this was shortly after the end of the First War, Stormwind was pretty much the property of the orcs at that point. And she uh, got a little too close and... Uh, and uh, she got propositioned by an orc. And she took it. And uh, ever, since, ever since then, the entirety of Silver Moon has been slut-shaming her. Well, that's what happened. I know that's what happened. But see, I'm not down with that. They don't dare do that to me. <laughs> well, that's, the, well, that's because that's because my cousin Delexia is, you know, one of Sylvanas's favorites and queen of the undead, and they depend on her for all sorts of illicit things that they need. Well, the reason why people remember that about Carrie so much is because, well, she was, she, she was a child of nobility. Granted, she isn't nobility anymore, but well, <laughs> at the time, she was from she was from a noble family. That's okay, though. Shortly after, you met me under similar circumstances. <laughs> And we had a grand old time, and you realized that I could get you from Booty Bay to Silver Moon and back again in about five seconds. Oh, God, I still remember. It was um, Memorial Day 2010. Me and Dana and our friend Julie decided we were going to start new characters from scratch, and we were going to go on this big undead campaign. Dana made her undead character. Death? Julie made her undead character. Was that death? Um... I think it. I think it's the character that is now Death Warlock, or is it? Or is that the? Is that the character that's now Death or Dread? Your Warlock. Dread is the Warlock. Then it's Dread. I think anyway. But yeah, but said, yeah. there was yeah, but it was. But it was. A Nintendo. Oh Prana! Oh yeah, Prana and Camp Triggerfish are coming soon. Piranha is coming this month sometime. Okay. Oh, that would be cool. Well, anyway. Dana made her character Death. Julie made her character Baruthiel. And they were waiting for me. They were waiting for me. I kept, I kept, I kept saying, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm getting ready. And then, and, and then, and then Dana, go, and then Dana goes, well, I'm, well, I'm in Death now. And Julie and Julie's in death now. Where the hell are you? I said, Silver Moon. <laughs> I made that was when I made Carowin. <laughs> but, 
Part of her immediate backstory at the time was she had a bad reputation in Silver Moon, so they sent her to Tirisful to get rid of her. <laughs> oh, we timed out. I never heard that story. You never heard you never heard that I story? No, I never heard that story. Yeah, but that but that was part of it. She was deemed too un I mean, they knew she was of royal blood. She was one of the survive. She, and she was, and she was one of the survivors of the Legion attack on Silver Moon. But, 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 but after, but afterwards, they found that with with no parents and no brother and all alone, she was kind of just being. She was. She, I mean, she was annoying to begin with as as a rich debutante. But before. They had to put up with it because she was from a rich family. After Reconstruction, they didn't have to put up with her anymore. So they sent her to Tiraspol. <laughs> they, 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 they gave her a joke title of, oh, you're emissary to the Forsaken. And they sent her to Tiraspol. Yeah, and then you met Alexia, and then... Well, actually, actually that, well, actually, that was when she met Death in Berufio. And got a crush on Berufio. Baruthiel's not an elf. Baruthiel is undead. Yes, and? <laughs> okay, um... It just, it just means they can last longer. Oh, God. Talk... Yeah, I, I guess. Talk about your rigor mortis, huh? They do. They don't call it the little death for nothing, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. It's just been too long since we've done this. I know, and I have a feeling Dana wishes it had been longer. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> so math was never my thing, really, but I have a feeling that there is a very high probability with a less than 0.05% margin of error that you are absolutely 100% correct. That's a lot of percentages. <laughs> I oh, I did not mean to do that. I went to college at one Finishing school, they were trying to find more respectable as they came to a respectable person. And then I just tried to do this. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> Is that still archived somewhere? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every Revenge of the Particle show is archived. Every last one. I mean, they're not all available on Mad Music, but at the very least, they're archived on my hard drive. Goofy Gary's coming to Minnesota. Well, this would be the perfect opportunity to do something we should have done long ago for Goofy Gary. Which is? Uh, finally get him the tablet he wanted. Oh! Yes! <laughs> All right. All right, after, the, after this match, I guess he was going on chat. People are doing the talking from chat. Ah! Let's see here. Ron is coming in March. I'll show you the stages that will be added in future updates. The, the, the Schultzel Mine, which is a large belt conveyor schedule, will be added in late. Oh, the Schultzel Mine. That, that's, per, that's Piranha Pit. Um, I, I think. Yeah. Did you shock her? Yeah, that, yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that is Piranha Pit. I don't know who to believe. Um, I think, Sh I think Schultzel Mine is, um, is, is the uh, Japanese name for Piranha Pit? Because Piranha Pit, oh, 
Um, is it maps and modes? Oh, it's maps and modes time. What do we have? We've got um, Sturgeon Shipyard and the Schellendorf Institute. Let's do this. But, because Piranha Pit has conveyor belts. As you know. Piranha Pit has way too many conveyor belts. Let me see, it's got one, two, three, four, five per side, so ten total. I was just playing Piranha Pit on the first game the other day. <laughs> yeah, end of March or early April. Yeah, I could see that. It's okay. The I do have to admit the uh, conveyor belts turn me off a little on Piranha Pit. Time to eat this shit up. All right, time to see how far I can get. Oh, I guess that's as far as I can get. Damn, I was so hoping to let loose that ink storm. But I guess it's not happening. Oh god, there's more than one brush there. Damn. I couldn't move. I couldn't move too many brushes. Shit! These brushes are deadly. Deadly brushes. That's uh, not usual. Well, at least, well, at least not with that brush. If it was the octa brush, I could see it. Octa brushes are OP, but but regular ink brushes. Oh, that wasn't a trade, really? Notice something? Splashdown tends to have the same inking effect as Ink Strike, just without the huge, uh, just without the huge tornado effect.
because I see the effect of splashdown and it looks, and the footprint on the ground looks similar to the same footprint as Ink Strike from the first game. these days I would still like to just walk through this stage Be because this is basically a history museum I mean I know I mean I know they call it an institute on the um, on the English version of the game but in Japanese it's it's the uh, it's like the Devon Museum or something like that Time to do some strategic inking. Oh, I don't think I've done, I don't think I've pulled that off before. That, that little jump there. Brush again. Mm, I don't think we won that one. But then again, maybe. Yes. And by the way, a little remark I made at the beginning of the stream. Um, some of you may have noticed uh, that name, uh, Electrical Skateboard. Supposedly that's a, supposedly that's a bot of some kind. Numerous streamers have reported that name appearing in their chat anytime they've streamed. And none of us know why it's there. Some people think it might be a viewing bot. Because I I know I've noticed it. And who else? A, a couple of other streamers I know have uh, have noticed it. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, uh, Vina May has noticed it. Tofu Tofu Panic has noticed it. And uh, who else? Um, Cool Blue. Only Masquerade. Yeah. And, 
and uh, we... And we don't know what it is. We don't know why it's there. Put it there. All we know is that people say they want to have the channel. And, um... And I agree, just simply because if it is, if it is a bot, I don't want to have to be responsible for it. Then again, I don't think Twitch would hold us responsible for it in the first place. Just simply because it's out of our control, unless, unless we... And from what I understand, people have tried banning it, and it doesn't work. People who have tried banning it have reported that it just comes right back, circumventing the ban. So yeah, so yeah, so you can't just ban it. anyone has any ideas of what to do about electrical skateboard, let me know. Because a whole lot of people want some answers. And they're just... And frankly, there just aren't any way. Yeah. I, sa I sacrificed myself for the trade because lasers suck. The, pro the thing is, they have a disconnect, and they, right now, are winning. What's going on here? Hey, this channel is to help out small streamers and give them the ability to win a host every 10 minutes. For everyone watching, make sure to actually support streamers that you find entertaining and give them a follow. It's... But, but it's a bot. And, oh, we did win that, okay. But, but it, it's a, what it is, is it's a viewing bot. And, and yes, while, well, yes, I, I would like to attract people to my channel, I don't want it to be done with a bot. Twitch frowns on this. I mean, I appreciate you're trying to help out small streamers, but that's not the way to do it. And the thing and and the thing is, the electrical skateboard doesn't show up in my chat until I actually show up in my chat. I mean, not even when I start streaming, when I show up in the chat. So, so this electrical skateboard dude, what this electrical skateboard dude is doing is, is scanning chan, is just basically scanning channels, scanning the channels in its list to see if the host is in the chat. And if the host is in the chat, it puts itself in the chat.
But like I said, it's a view bot, and Twitch frowns on view bots, and pardon me if I uh, don't want the chance of getting in trouble for someone else's frickin' view bot. Splat TV, you finally caught up with me. With the, with the crack on Splat Roller. I said, I I used to use the Flingza Roller for everything. I, I used to think it was a good balance between speed and power. But then, uh, Z but then Zen let me know that I wasn't actually doing very well with it, and he suggested, he suggested I, he suggested that if I have to roll, he suggested I try the carbon roller because it's faster. And I switched to the carbon roller, never looked back. Oh, damn! Oh, they got a squid beacon over there. Oh, I see it. Oh, jeez! Splat TV, that's gotta be the third time you splatted me! Oh, God. Weird. Oh, oh, God. You guys made a mess of our home base. You guys made a mess of our home base. Our home base. Uh, Do you remember the song Bambitos? No? Oh. Bambitos? I just don't remember the song. It was like a 90s classic. Here. Oh! 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 Okay, okay. Okay, I, I guess I didn't know what the name of the song was called, but the lyrics do sound familiar. Yeah, I was at school on Wednesday, and I, I was singing this song, like, what the hell song is this? And I'm like, it's, it's Bambinos, and nobody knew it. Nobody. Apparently, I'm old. Oh, I'm older than you are. But you wear it so well, honey. I'm 12 years older than you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back at the Schellendorf. Now let the carbon roller ink the home base. Carbon roller can get it done quick. Someone booyah! I had the booyah back. That's how it works in the game Splatoon. And that bridge on the Schellendorf really reminds me of um, Hammerhead Bridge from the first game. It's like, whose idea was it to put a huge canopy over the exhibit? Oh, 
All right. Oh, disconnected. What? Sorry, guys. I disconnected. Sorry, Splat TV. Sorry, Splat TV. I disconnected. Yeah, I disconnected. Damn. Yeah, I know. And we were winning. I hate when that happens. I know what you mean. You've never seen that message? you never seen that message before? Well, well, that's what happens on a sudden disconnection. What happens is the game, the game for some reason thinks you unplugged your internet connection. That's not the connection is unstable. That it, that is the connection died, and the system think and the, and the system thinks that you might have, uh, you might have either unplugged the cable or just get some other sudden disconnection. But I know I did not get disconnected from the internet because you're still watching, you guys are still watching my stream. Oh, just, so, what probably happened was I got disconnected from the, I got disconnected, my peer-to-peer -peer connection with the host, uh, with the host of the lobby get disconnected. That's, that's, that's what happens. If it happens too often, Nintendo gives you the ban hammer because at that point, they give you a message that says, this seems a little suspicious. Oh, what the hell got me? Oh, Splat TV! With the hero roller. Why am I not surprised? Once again. We got what you need only right here on Splat TV! And yeah, you gotta be Gen X to get that reference too. <laughs> oh, Splat TV again. <laughs> Ah, uh, my inking is very low this time around. I gotta do something about that. Oh! Caught someone. Splat someone in, in knitting chair. Splat TV! <laughs> that's the only, like I've said before, that's the only thing with playing against people who know you. And that is, they know you. They know where you're going to try to go. Oh, Osh did get me that time. Ah, oh, man. Oh, my coverage sucked on that one. Does the Inkling girl say gloomy when they put the Rainmaker on the pedestal? Um, no, 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 I, I don't think the Inklings make any noise when they do that normally. I know the Inkling girl say woomy when you booyah. Sometimes. Yeah, 16 splats, and four of them were me. <laughs> 
sometimes mostly just its voice lines. Yay, TV! Hello, Smashing Bomb! Welcome to the stream today! It's another stream of me wearing the latest and greatest. For Team Latest! In next weekend's Splatfest! Which, unfortunately, means uh, no Club Boom that week. I've got to post about that. You see, I decided Club Boom was going to be near the end of the month now. Because I, fi I, I figured, after all, there would never be a Splatfest at the end of the month. Dooley, dooley, dooley. Nike Splatfest! Fuck! Oh, I hear sirens outside. There's someone out there puking in the heather. And I'm not working. <laughs> yeah, I'm not working. <laughs> there's actually a there's there's actually a song called Puking in the Heather. It's by by a group who uh, call themselves Red Jafon. I don't know if they're still around. They're 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 a, they're a, they're a local band. They um, they used to perform at Renfest. But they have a song called "Puking in the Heather." Mm hmm. Later, not about MarsCon. Later, not over the stream. Um, probably. When is it? I don't know. All right. Oh God. Noah.jpg Noah.jpg trade All right there I got oh I got oh and someone else got blah, they're all over our home base I splat two of them and then here comes splat TV Yeah, I know. I, I, I know Smashing Bomb. I know you're Noah.jpg. <laughs> Booyah to say Woomy. <laughs> Booyah to say Woomy only works on the female inklings, though. Only female... Oh... Not again! What? No, it pooped out the again. Shittiest thing ever. It pooped. The connection pooped out again. What the? What Oh, this, this lobby has two breeze. That's 
That's one that that's uh, one missing letter off from my uh, surname. <laughs> And both the Bree's are on the same team. <laughs> we got Bree, and then we have Bree. Well, I know my I know my way around Bree, because if you've seen my email address, I'm Emmy of Bree. I am of Bree. I am the cheesy alien. I know my way around Bree. Pretty far. Please, Platoon God, salt spray rig, yes. Although, although Zen doesn't think they'll put salt spray rig in because apparently, um, apparently there's an advantage to uh, snipers who start on the uh, on the left hand spawn point. Oh, we have a disco! No, no! We have a disco! Our dually! Oh, and it's our duallys, of course! We got disco duallys! Disco, disco duallys! I say fuck! I'm out of luck, cause disco, dis, disco, 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 doolies. Holy fuck, I'm out of luck, we've got a disco, disco, disco. All right, some up. Uh, oh God! Oh God! It's possible we may have won this. May. Down. One point. One point one percent. One point one percent. Granted. The fact that we had a disconnect that was a lot closer than it should have been. But we almost pulled off the upset and I have to go scrub my Splatfest shirt. <laughs> I will be right back. But yeah, we almost we we almost won against the power play. I could not believe that. We came that close to We came that close to winning an upset against the power play.
Oh god, we got Squidward, Blib, Pub, Chatty Ward. Where are these names coming from? Chatty Ward. Seriously. But seriously, where do these names come from? I've got it. I want to get this. Come on, add it. Alright, I need to see how close I can get to their home base before I unleash this thing. Uh, it's not going to be very close at all. That's about as far as I can get. Oh! Indirect trade. I had nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide. Oh, God, ink armor. Did we, did we do it? Oh, I don't think so. We did! Holy shit, we won that. Oh, because their home base isn't even worth the crap. Look at all that virgin ground in their home base. Virgin ground. You don't leave virgin ground in your home base. Yes. Yes, exactly. Huge tracts of land. <laughs> oh, Splatten. Splatten Smashing Bomb are back in the, uh, are back in the lobby. What's the time? It's time to get woomy. What's the time? It's time to get woomy. <clears throat> I love Flounder Heights. Yes, it's it's not my favorite stage, but it is. But it's one of my favorites. Hmm. Oh, 
jeez. Where, where is it again? Where? Oh, 3600 East Lake. Uh, that's, um... <clears throat> I know, no, I know it's not that far from here. That's, um... Actually, uh, that's the Tim Hortons. Yeah, yeah, thirty, yeah, thirty-six hundred East Lake is uh, Tim Hortons, I believe. And for any Canadians that might that might be uh, watching the stream, yes, we have Tim Hortons in the U.S. now. I got both of them. I got both Chatty and Noah. And we got Splat TV. And we got Chatty again. And Splat TV finally got me. Because of course Splat TV got me. Because Splat TV always gets me. <laughs> And I just got Noah. And I just got Noah again. We just got Squidward. Oh god, oh god. You, Splat, you guys have got a lot of, um... You guys have a lot of virgin ground over here. Let me fix that for you. <laughs> uh, your, your teammate Chatty Wad, I don't think gets the point of the game. I, uh, I don't think Chatty Wad got the point of your got the point of the game very much. Chatty Wad was kind of just inking aimlessly, <laughs> which is weird considering Chatty Wad's like what level what fifty three? Yeah. <laughs> How do you get up to level fifty three? And oh god, Chatty Wad's on my team this time. Well, we lost this one. <laughs> I, I, I can tell already we lost this one. I said one thing one thing I like to make sure of with Tenta missiles, and I've said it before in the stream, I'll say it again. For the benefit of those who might not have been here before. 
when there's ten of missiles coming my way, my uh, my strategy is basically to um, to make sure they all land in the same spot because then it's a lot easier to clean up the mess afterward. Oh god, let's see how far I can get into enemy territory. Not very, so I gotta get out of here. Oh! Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Play with those who know you well, and the problem is they know you well. Ah, there we go. Turn about is fair play, Mr. TV. We've gotten him if I ain't run out of ink. I'm going to take a chance and get splatted. <laughs> That's not good. Well, she's got the uh, she's got the sloshing machine Neo, or is it sloshing machine Deco? I don't know. I do not think we won that. <laughs> no, we no, we didn't win that. We don't we don't have enough of the middle. It was a valiant effort. <clears throat> Chatty Wad wanted the squid party. Wait, oh, Chatty Wad wanted the squid. That was I didn't get I didn't get that impression. Chatty wanted the squid party. I I I wasn't getting that impression at all. Usually, if you to show that you want a squid party. Usually, right at the beginning, you start squid flop. You start squid flopping and booey eyeing, and that tell and that tells people, "I want a squid party. I want a squid party. I want a squid party." <clears throat> but I uh, didn't see Chatty do that, and now Chatty's not even in the lobby anymore. Because if I've said it before, if it's regular turf war. I will gladly squid party. Oh well. But regular turf war is the only mode. Outside of private battles, that is, where I where I will squid party, just simply because there's nothing to loot. Win or lose, you 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 only you won't win or lose, you only gain XP. It's it's not like what am I trying to say? It, it's not like um. It's not like rank battle or league battle or splat fest where there's consequences for losing. Regular turf war doesn't actually have consequences. Ha 
Ha <laughs> Victory is mine! Well, in this game, well, 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 the thing is, in this game, it's me, Noah, and Splat TV all on the same team. And that's not very, I do have to admit, that's not very fair to the other team. <clears throat> then again, they're winning. So we've got... We've got some we've got some turfing to do. Hold on. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. So I gotta returf this the old-fashioned way, or I could just go back to spawn. I'm gonna go back to spawn because I took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. I took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. This whole area of the home base needs love. It needs wet, inky love. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, the feather and quill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we're going to call it the stream for tonight. Um let, let let's see uh Let's see who are. Let's see who we're going to um, raid here. Who's on? Well, it's a it's a Twitch raid. I'm I'm explaining to Katie what a Twitch raid is. It's a it's a type of hosting. See, we're, what it started as is when someone ends a stream, and um, and, and someone ends a stream and they want to host someone else. What used to happen is they say, okay, okay, everyone go to this channel and we'll and we'll raid them and here's the raid message, type this in their chat, you know? And it became so popular that Twitch automated it into a command now. <clears throat> so we are gonna have a raid. <clears throat> oh, I know who we're gonna raid. I'm gonna I'm going to raid someone um, I haven't raided before, and he is the, um, he is the proprietor of the group called um, Twitch Treehouse. <clears throat> and I hope I'm spelling that right. Yeah. Yep, we're going to raid Pokev Sim. So you know what to do if you have not pressed it yet. If you have not pressed it yet, uh, type, um, pop that follow, join the Particle Acceleration. I have links to stuff now down below. Twitter, Discord, Facebook, um, uh, friend codes, you know, whatever you want, I got them. So until next time, this is DJ Particle signing off. Boom. <laughs>